how does it feel yeah <clears throat> ma'am it feels great because you know uh, the the kind of freedom that we have see i've done a film like rda and uh, you know I've, i'm an actor who always wanted to do things that are different you know i wanted to always explore the dark side of our society and you know as humans we are so you know the kind of response i got in rda theatrically was horrible but when it released on an ott platform it was a blockbuster so i feel uh, you know it's also about being wise because uh, you know certain co- content it is directed towards certain audience so being you know when i was choosing this story uh, you know the fact that this was for netflix and is the you know telugu the first telugu original it uh, gave me a lot of confidence and uh, you know uh, i could uh, i could do it with so much of conviction and freedom you know rather than yeah, thinking exactly. about- yeah rather than thinking what could go wrong how you know uh, how i would be judged or is it you know what are the risk factors so i could eliminate all that thoughts and i could just 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 be yes and uh, that kind of a freedom makes so much of a uh, difference you know while uh, performing to and it's going to be like whoever wants to see this genre is going to see it yes and that's so much more easier absolutely yeah yeah nandini you uh for me uh it was f- there were two things one it was netflix two it was a short story format netflix <laughs> is one of the biggest platforms and, and knowing that we have a k- certain kind of audience in mind it gave me a lot of freedom i mean uh, if you for example if you look at uh, the way the conversations are in the film i wanted to ask you about this also actually uh, mm-hmm. once you're done with it i'm going to talk about the 30 minutes with you before i go to chow okay and the third thing uh was also that i'm i'm leaving all my comfort zone which is humor and family emotions and all the typical things that i have always done which which comes naturally to me i am leaving all those crutches aside and walking free falling into a completely dark space there's a discomfort in the relationship of the husband and wife from from the start of the first frame and it keeps moving into a darker and darker space what appears to be one thing is actually not something there are these layers so all this was uh, pretty much uh, exciting for me to play with okay and chao you <laughs> <laughs> i see ten days work and so much matter especially like with freedom was an awesome experience and uh, nandesh packaged it so well so everything was there every emotion was there in the whole sequence and I would say I enjoyed it thoroughly, and most of the time I was trying to impress Amla, so I was working hard. <laughs> <laughs> in fact uh, you know we did that car scene right where i tell him where we have that argument so i came out of the scene and i told uh, nandini i'm like nan uh, you know he's he, he's so good i think people are going to sympathize with him they're like what she's doing to this man <laughs> <laughs> ramya okay ramya tell me one thing differently that you would have done as an actor if you were playing meera let me ask you that If you just like my Meera, face would be different from the present mira but otherwise you would have pretty much uh, you felt amla was on point amla amla is a very fine actor uh, you know it's uh, what she does is very it looks very easy and effortless but it's very difficult to uh, carry off scenes with uh, such ease and effortlessness uh, it is beautiful she's a fine actor Thank you, thank you. You made my day. Like you said, the marital rape—it's like uh, the uh, the intensity and the the emotions she was uh, in the foreground. That was uh, really good. Yeah. Really yeah. good, and yeah. many and small small expressions of hers, which uh, which is so beautiful. Only only a superb actor can deliver such thing. Very good. Ciao. <laughs> Yeah. But in 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 cinema we have to freaking justify everything. I think that's a sad part, you know. If she had just shown it straight away, you know, Meera kicking Vishwa out of the yeah. house or Meera is like, you Where know, is the drama dance. then? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But we just <laughs> freaking justify the women. Yeah. But I remember sure. like uh, you know when uh, Chau was uh, playing the role, he was asking me about Vishwa and he said, "Is this guy a really bad guy? What is he?" tell me about him and then that's when i said he's no, nobody is bad i mean especially nobody thinks they are being bad 
right nobody says ha ha yeah. i'm going to be a nasty person yeah right? and there is no never always a black and white to all characters so called you know Correct. characters generally written chau held on to that uh, core of it and he was sincere to that emotion of vishwa that he really adores his kids and they are his achilles you know heel in that sense place where the scene where he's been interrogated Yeah. Yeah. You feel really uh, sorry for him when he is going. Uh, Amla is, uh, you know, helping him uh, sleep. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's another place where you feel quite sorry for him. Yeah. You know, yeah. this one. Yeah. That's the one. Really vulnerable, vulnerable side. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Side yeah, of him. Yeah. 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 He he seems to be helpless. Like you know, he's he's yeah. in such a situation where even he can't help himself. Yeah. And I think uh, Chau kind of uh, tread that nuance very well. because uh, it it it's it's difficult to to uh, play vulnerable and very intimidating on the other side you know he's he's ki- yeah. almost kind of switching into this bipolar behavior constantly and uh, i think he did it but he held on to the to, to that belief that vishwa is a guy who's mad about his wife and his kids it's just mm-hmm. that that madness crosses certain limits and he's not mm-hmm. able to control it but he held on to that core goodness of that in that in that whatever shred of goodness is there he held on to it and he didn't let it go so i think as an actor that's what uh, kind of you know kept the audience also sympathizing with him and uh, you know Ra- ramya and me were talking earlier about this and she you know there was this little she said you know like netflix everything is very real and absolutely very realistic and then there is this little cinematic touches that i tend to give to two stories so i i as a director i i like that sense of cinema thoroughly and i agree with what you told earlier also the younger one younger generations the ott again has limited time you are under pressure so many things are happening but at the same time they're doing a great job yes yeah ott gives me wings to fly so ideally i would like to straddle both worlds i would like to do feature films and then in between again come and do this because i get a chance to reinvent myself to uh, you know so in that sense ott it's it's a sure shot release that you get this whole pressure of release and all that is not there so you you have you are you are given a different set of wings to fly so you know i think you get the best of both worlds when you do this little bit of that, uh, yeah, exactly. that. so that's totally yeah so that's what uh, i plan to so do. true Thank you, Maris. Thank you so much. So sweet of you.